thing that I have to talk about very importantly is that as a global family, we practice what we call the end of year sacrifice. Look up, please. Let me teach you something very powerful. Now, every end of the year, this is for Koinonia Global, we give within the period of our closing to the period of resumption, we leave it open and we encourage everyone who is part of this spiritual family who has been blessed and lifted, we give them an opportunity to sow their end of year sacrifice with understanding. I want you to listen because it is not about money at all. I want you to pay attention. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace, God has shown us mercy. You understand? We, we don't have to tell you, but we have been great um, recipients of God's mercy. So this is not in any way, some way of manipulating. God himself has shown us mercy. But this is a practice that God has granted us grace and we have worked with. It is scriptural and it is true that every time you belong to a spiritual family, this is part of the education that we must receive. Every time you belong to a spiritual family, there must be moments, whether official or unofficial, where you participate always in prayer, and all of that but especially in the area of finances you participate in kingdom partnership with revelation through your sacrifice now when i teach on these things my heart becomes heavy because um subjects like this are full of all kinds of sad stories from people who have been manipulated people who you know have been wrongly taught but i owe you under god to teach you the truth in righteousness because if I truly desire you to rise beyond certain levels, then rising only comes by the truth. It says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Are we together now? So as a ministry and as a global family, we practice the end of year sacrifice. And let's look at two scriptures. I'll be very, very fast. Second Samuel 24. Second Samuel 24. I'll read a few scriptures just to give you perspective. Second Samuel 24, we'll start from verse 24 and 25. And the king said to Arauna, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer bond offerings unto the Lord my God of that which does not cost me nothing. So David the king bought the threshing floor and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver. 25. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered bond offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Israel. Scripture number 2. Psalm 20 please. Very quickly. We'll start from verse 1. Psalm 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. He says, send thee help from his sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings. This is part of the instruments that will be the basis for your safety and security. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy bond sacrifice verse 4 it says grant thee according to thy own heart and fulfill all thy counsel and then finally it says we will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of the lord our god we will set up our banners it says the lord will fulfill all our petitions because we did not just pray alone there was the sacrifice that we engaged one last scripture are you learning first samuel chapter 7 please we'll read from verse 7 first samuel chapter 7 from verse 7 it says when the philistines heard that the children of israel were gathered together to mispe the lords of the philistines went up against israel and when the children of israel heard it they were afraid of the philistines verse 8 and the children of israel said to samuel cease not to cry unto the lord our god for us 
that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. Read verse 10 with me, please. One, two, read, please. And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, uh -huh, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them. And they were smitten at the instance of sacrifice. Now listen, what is the year, the end of year sacrifice for? I will give you four biblical keys to become a support structure i can stop here and i know many of you love me and love this ministry and you would give but like i said it is not about the giving alone it is the revelation because i want you to be blessed it will be evil and wicked of me as a man of god to now put account numbers and say give i know that people from all over the world businesses and all of that people will come in in droves to give but it is i must have a pure conscience before god that i taught you sincerely this is more than money it takes understanding for what we do in the kingdom to profit us are you learning now four keys very quickly what does your sacrifice say to god number one your sacrifice is your covenant of love the first, the first understanding that must sponsor your sacrifice as you bring and give your end of year sacrifice, it must be at the back of your mind that number one, I am doing this and as an expression of my love for God, my love for his servant, my love for the work wherein I have been blessed and transformed and changed. First Kings chapter 3 and verse 3. The Bible says, And Solomon loved the Lord. Please help us, media. First Kings 3, 3. And Solomon loved the Lord. Solomon did not just sacrifice bond offerings. He loved the Lord. He loved the Lord. And then verse 4. Give us verse 4. And it says the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there. Why did he go to Gibeon? Not to go and discuss, to sacrifice there. And it says that he gave a thousand bond offerings. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine that this entire room were filled with animals and a pool of blood. And this man kept sacrificing. 910, 950 and God said, what is this? 990. And Solomon said, Lord, it is because I love you. I'm not just showing that I'm a king and I have money. I am doing this because I love you. Verse 5. The Bible says, immediately that happened in Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said, ask. This is about the few times that God will appear to a man and no salutation. I'm not here to greet you. You have touched me in a way. I am here to ask you one question. Ask because your sacrifice has a voice. It is calling on me to do something. So ask and I will give thee. The covenant of sacrifice is a covenant of love. You are saying, Lord, I love you. I have been changed, I have been transformed, I have been healed, I have been delivered. Your word has come. Many of you would have heard me many years ago. The Lord told me that I should put these teachings and it should bless the nation. And that I'm not saying this is, is, a, is a doctrine. No, it is just an instruction that came to never sell these teachings whatsoever. And for many of you, if you are to be honest, you would know up until now, at the time when this instruction came, most ministries, um, the, the media and their teachings account for a major part, you know, of the resources that come to drive the ministry. But God gave that instruction. And I thank God for the privilege to have remained obedient to that heavenly call. Only God can tell the lives, the homes, the destinies that have been changed today. It is when we stand before Jesus and someone will come and pinch you and say, thank you. Thank you. What for? It was your teaching that saved my children, that transformed me. I am a man of God today because I listened to a teaching. Your covenant of love. Number two. 
why sacrifice your sacrifice is your show of appreciation unto god for his faithfulness biblical thanksgiving is not complete until it is backed up with giving it is sacrifice together with your prayer your worship your singing dancing alone praying alone and just sharing the grace and going it's not true expression of gratitude when people come to tell you thank you if they really mean to tell you thank you they first come saying thank you but in addition they carry something that is a token and an expression of their love and their gratitude even if you are a blessed person already they will come with it to tell you sincerely and sometimes you are broken by the things that you see sacrifice is your show of appreciation unto god number three sacrifice according to luke chapter five please give us quickly let's start from verse one it is your commitment to partnership i have taught you here that whether if you ever find yourself in a ministry like this i want you to know that whether there is an official partnership platform or not part of your kingdom responsibility as a matured believer if and when you are truly mentored accordingly part of your kingdom responsibility is to contribute with understanding to partner with that vision that blesses you for its continuity and to be able to see to it that they remain people of integrity and in truth there are many people today, sadly speaking and respectfully so, who may not necessarily be bad and evil people, but maybe for whatever reason, because of financial pressures, they've had to doctor teachings, do a lot of things because they feel there are bills to be paid and all of that. And let me tell you the truth. There is no hiding and there is no superstition. The way the kingdom and the work of God is funded in this kingdom is through the corporate partnership of believers that have understanding. Simple. There is no mystery. Money will not just fall from the sky and come there. No. It is the shoulder of the priest that will carry the ark and the way god is so benevolent and and gracious god can raise one person one person who will override the bills in the ministry so but if one person even if one person comes and gives us a billion dollars i will still say this because it is not about the money it's an opportunity for people to be part of this are, are you getting the idea now yes so that for every soul that is saved for every life that is transformed for many of you who are receiving these things across the world from europe america the caribbeans that all of this come at the instance of not just the love and the commitment of god's people but it comes at the instance of their sacrifice their willingness to give and to give lavishly so when you sacrifice it is your commitment it says and it came to pass that as the people pressed upon to hear the word of god he stood by the lake of Gennesareth. very quickly he saw two sheep standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets uh-huh then he entered into one of the ships which was simon's notice now jesus wants to preach but the platform to give him room to preach was not there he now entered into the ship of someone and he prayed that he would trust out a little from the land so jesus sat down and taught the people out of the ship jesus had the message but he needed someone to support him with the platform so that they would hear and when he had left speaking he now told simon he said no you don't partner with me and remain like that now launch out into the deep and let down your net for a catch verse 5 and simon answering said master we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing nevertheless at thy word and on account of my partnership i will let down the net that was the first level of partnership the bible now says and when he had done this they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break what happened verse 7 and they beckon unto their now he had partnered with jesus and jesus blessed him so much 
but a loss was going to happen by reason of this he had to call on their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships so everyone who participated benefited from it there was nobody who just helped and went like that imagine the catch that both ships were now filled those guys were looking for the same thing that jesus gave and both nets because they came into partnership are you learning now when you partner with god in truth without manipulation and not for eye service nobody truly stands in partnership with god and goes down so your covenant of love your show of appreciation and gratitude number three your commitment to partnership to see that the vision that has blessed you and helped you that it remains afloat and then number four sacrifice is a mystery that provokes the hand of god as revealed in scripture the three scriptures that we read were scriptures that showed the deliverance power of god at the instance of sacrifice can i tell you this believe me when i tell you when things refuse to move in your life when you are tired of a certain level in your life and your destiny financially and otherwise the mystery of sacrifice with understanding is one of these mysteries that can shift you to a new level i cannot begin to tell you stories in my own life and in this ministry where sacrifice provoked certain levels of the hand of god to do certain things in my life and in this ministry this is how it works but the challenge there is if i teach you number four as the only reason for sacrifice you see you are just doing an investment with god it has now become business love must be the ultimate motivation and then a heart of gratitude in that order and then is a desire to see his work continue through your hands and then finally a sincere desire to be blessed by that action let me tell you this when this becomes the basis for your sacrificial giving sacrifice is not just giving sacrifice is something that touches you from your heart and it must be based on a superior revelation otherwise you will give and later go and think you are stupid i gave this money and now look at me stranded no not with god not with god so believers hear me our family here in abuja and our global family following from across it is our culture and our practice in this ministry that with sound teachings like this at the end of the year we come together and we make that sacrifice so beginning from tonight okay the media has helped us beginning from tonight up until our resumption everyone is encouraged who loves god ministries businesses companies families individuals as much as god has placed it in your hand to communicate your sacrifice now very quickly without confusion let me put a disclaimer here because every time we do these kinds of things unfortunately we're dealing here with the internet you now will have all kinds of scammers who will arise to prey on the sincerity and the love that the people have for god's work and now begin to manipulate people by the grace of god i want you to know that there is only one account i, I don't know why you put only the naira you would have displayed everything but for now any and all sacrifices are done through direct transfers okay now you can go online or you can see it displayed there all the accounts in whatever denomination you desire and should you need any assistance whatsoever especially for our international community you can reach our finance department they will be more than glad to help you please do not fall into the hands of scammers there is no other account we are using and there is no charity building anywhere that i am building all of these thieves that have come in my name in the name of jesus the god who sent us we have prayed mercy prayer enough in the name of jesus christ may vengeance fall upon you from heaven people have been defrauded of millions millions of dollars sadly 
because of all of these things people just come and lie by god's grace we are people of integrity who fear god are we together and then let me use the opportunity to say this anyone calling you as joshua selman to prophesy to you if you know my life you know how busy i am the person who said he called and i called back to prophesy for money please report that person to law enforcement agents that is a thief and a scammer and in the name of jesus one more time may the angels send a sign to this revelation may they bring such people to book in jesus name it is good to give but it is important that your seeds do not fall into wrong hands uh, my heart my heart bleeds every time people meet me or meet our finance department to say look i sent so 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 million i sent this this and that and all that was to the hand of some scammers and these guys have invented all kinds of things that is the reason why we're working consistent with one account and by the way we've not started giving for any building project i know that people have there are people who have come with monies for building project we've asked you to wait when we start the building project we'll bring an account and we're people of integrity will not come and just manipulate you for nothing so many people just announcing about our project and i was overwhelmed by the number of people saying where's the account we want to sow and very serious amounts and we said no 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 thank you for your desire to give but you just hang on when we are ready we'll set up an account and then we're going to make the call praise the name of the lord i do not take the for granted the love and the honor that you have for me and for this ministry and i believe under god that we owe you um to protect your giving and to protect your love and not to allow you fall prey to people anyhow are we together now so i'm going to do two things now very quickly number one is keep the accounts there i'm going to be praying and speaking over you that's really what i came here to do to charge you on thanksgiving just let you know our activities and then speak over you and then from there we just open up the doors for this um once we are done the worship team will come i hope you are ready for part two we're going to celebrate jesus christ and this one now will not just be a dance of celebration alone it's going to be a praise of warfare he said let the high praise of god be upon their lips that means whatever is the balance from january to november that is yet to manifest in your life as you celebrate the mighty god he will arise in your praise and make every door that is yet to open to open for you in jesus name hallelujah please rise up on your feet rise up on your feet if you can and in one minute i want you to begin to talk to the lord because i'm about to declare over your life right now you have praised the lord for who he is but i want you to mention the areas where you are yet to see the outstretched arm of god and agree with him and say father even now i believe that you are able go ahead and pray jesus said i am the resurrection and i am the life if someone pray someone is praying a global family make sure you follow us your home your office your church wherever you are using those of you who are watching by way of television and internet go ahead and pray father this health condition that i still have this night it must answer to the name of the lord this financial constraint i still have this night it must answer to the name of the lord by prophecy and by the mystery of praise and by the mystery of my sacrifice let it be terminated once and for all please pray you are in ministry here and it looks like the vision is not speaking as it should be now is the time for you to agree with god and release those wings to the next level
Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the power, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Who is this King of glory? Your God strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. You are this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thine is, thine is the, the power and the glory forever, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I decree and I declare over your life the kind of favor that must follow you and overtake you i stand by the privilege of priesthood and i declare koinonia hear me in the name of jesus christ may that grace for favor rest upon you now number two i decree and declare that every arrow and every enchantment and every ill speaking of darkness programmed over you and your family members either to cause losses to cause death to cause retrogression by the power that raised christ from the dead we cancel it now number three every attack programmed over your spiritual life your prayer life your word study life your ability to fast and to love God every attack coming from the pit of hell haunting you to make sure you do not end this year in praise and glory in the name of Jesus may the Lord arise like the warrior that he is and scatter everything that is not of God number four we call death by name you are a spirit and we speak that in the name of Jesus every instruction given to you to fall upon any one of us here or upon our families our children in the name of Jesus I prophesy oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory we banish you in the name of Jesus The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Every programming for mourning, every programming for tears waiting for you that before you cross into 2022, you must cry. I decree and declare, may my God who is also your God go before you and ensure that your joy is preserved. Hear me anyone holding anything that belongs to you that from january prophecy has come that must be released i declare from now till december 
from now till December 31st, I decree and declare, by all means, it must enter your hand. By all means, it must enter your hand. For those of you who are going to be traveling, whether in the air, whether by road, whether by land, let me prophesy to you, anybody waiting at the road to stop you and kidnap you in the name that is all, up, above all names, may fire come from heaven and consume them. Anyone waiting to kidnap your children, waiting to kidnap your loved ones, the earth opens and swallows them. in the name of jesus christ now there are some of you who are saying apostle as it is right now sincerely i do not even know where the resources to celebrate with god's people will come maybe i'm the breadwinner of my family members and as it is now i do not even know i want you to find rest there is the prophetic dimension of wealth and i stand as one sent by god i decree and declare the helper of destiny assigned to see to it that you do not cry i declare that their ministry must be fulfilled in your life in the name of jesus christ and for as many who will be involved in one project or the other kingdom project during this time whether it's a crusade whether it's a bible study session whether it's a concert, whether it's some time of prayer with family and friends, I pray for you. The same result you have seen here, carry that same grace and reproduce it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me prophesy over your life. You are departing from this place in peace. Therefore, any man that fights you goes down instantly. Goes down instantly. hallelujah there are some of you this is the period of attacks all kinds of attacks in dreams all kinds of attacks in your health a time to glorify god for the gift of jesus now the devil comes to attack you i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead every terminal disease and every orchestration of darkness that will not let you rest must go for you now Now I stand by prophecy and the privilege of priesthood. I knock on the gate of 2022 and I declare 2022 open up for God's people. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up for God's people. With a triumphant entry, they will step into 2022. With a triumphant entry, not with mourning, not with crying, not with pain with joy i prophesy a triumphant entry into 2022 in the name of jesus christ hear me and for all who have stood in prayer in giving in sacrifice online offline with this ministry even if you are not directly part of this vision but that through your life and everything about your life, God has helped to reveal Jesus in and through this ministry. I decree and declare the blessing that is upon this house, may it rest upon you also. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because we are sent to the body of Christ and we are a people of love. We stand as a family of faith. We pray for every ministry represented in Abuja. We pray for every ministry represented across this nation and we agree oh god that what you are doing here we extend that prayer and we lift up an incense of prayer to every ministry across this city from the north to the south the east and the west of abuja we pray for every man and every woman of god that calls upon the name of the lord 
we declare that the blessing of heaven rests upon them nothing will frustrate the work given to their hands in the name of jesus we pray for everyone whether christian muslim traditional worshiper i don't care anybody who is within our territory because they are there and because we are there we declare that in this season may the blessing of heaven rest upon them whether christians whether muslims whether traditionalists it does not matter with the love of jesus as revealed in this season we declare you are blessed in jesus name you are blessed in jesus name you are blessed in jesus name and finally i declare please place the account now i want to speak over it that in the name that is above all names everyone who is participating in our end of year sacrifice beginning from this night and all through god is not a fraudster god is not a scammer he does not play games with people therefore i pray in the name that is above all names for every one dollar one naira one pound one euro whatever currency that comes in here as a sacrifice only god knows the things that people are going to give up to honor this prophetic instruction as a global family i pray for you that in the name of jesus christ for every sacrifice you are making may god come through for you in a fearful way in the name of jesus christ by faith i bless your givings by faith i bless your sacrifice let it rise as a memorial before god you will not give and go down in the name of jesus and come 2022 everyone here tonight i declare you will return the only difference is that you will be 10 times greater in the name of jesus christ i place an anointing upon the session of praise and worship right now and i pray that it will not be an ordinary praise that the sounds that come from here will step into the realm of the spirit and bring deliverance and bring healings and bring salvation in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let me have the worshipers come please allow me to do an altar